Hey, what's up? It's Cheap Beer Free to Drink. I am JJ. Joining me for uh, really the first time you've been in a video before, but you didn't say anything. You just chugged a beer. It's my dad. You don't recall? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How you doing? Good. Uh, you have had and you enjoy the White Claw seltzer teas, and I wanted you in this video because Bud Light is now making seltzer iced teas. Uh, do you enjoy the White Claw ones? Yeah, they are actually pretty good. They are. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you like beer? Do you like seltzer? What do you, What do you? If you drink, what are you drinking? Now, if it's a hot day, yes, I don't mind having a cold beer. Yeah. Maybe. A, yeah. But um, seltzers, I'm starting to like them. Yeah, um, especially these tea ones, they have more flavors than the other ones. And in the, the Bud Light Seltzer teas, these flavors are interesting. It is a, a 12 pack, 12 ounce, the slim cans, 5% alcohol, 100 calories, less than a gram of sugar, gluten free. The flavors are peach, raspberry, tangerine, and apple. Peach and raspberry, we've had those tea seltzer flavors before, but tangerine and apple, uh, can't say I've ever had apple tea. No, that's a, that's a new one. Um, let's try these. Which of those four flavors you want to try first? Well, let's look at You got raspberry, apple. I think I'll leave the... Uh, Are we going to save apple the apple? Tea. Yeah. Well, we'll save the apple and tangerine for last. Let's do a classic peach iced tea. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab you a glass. And we're back. Got a glass. Yeah. It just appeared. Magic of video editing. Look at that. It, uh, it looks like the other tea seltzers. It actually looks like a beer. It is a... Uh... I was going to say, it's going to have a head on it, but it didn't. It does not. A little, little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that really does just look like beer. Mm -hmm. The ingredients on here, water, cold fermented cane sugar, natural flavors, cane sugar, citric acid, stevia leaf extract, sodium citrate, and molten rice. The reason I liked the uh, White Claw ones so much is they didn't have the stevia. So these will be closer to the Truly iced teas. I don't know that I've, I've given you one of those. But it has this uh, stevia sweetener in there. And I want to know if you notice it, if it kind of tastes off to you. But we'll try it. Here's peach. It actually smells like really good peach tea. Pour some more in there. That is that is really tasty. I like that peach flavor. Do you like it? Yeah, you can definitely, yeah. Now the peach is really strong. Does it taste like tea to you? I do get a little bit of a tea too. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's pretty good. That is good. The uh, the stevia compared to the truly seltzer is a lot more laid back in this one and it's actually it makes it quite enjoyable that's uh that's a pretty darn good peach tea do you like it better than the white claw would you say or do you like still like um, that one more still i still like the uh, white claw yeah, yeah those are really good all right let me finish this and we will move on to let's try raspberry. thanks for making those cold too yeah <laughs> just pulled them out of a icy cold cooler and oh, i think yeah. that i think that helps this is the uh, the raspberry here. The ingredients look exactly the same. You get 100 calories in there. The cans are kind of cool. A nice golden can that'll definitely stand out. So uh, they have lemonade seltzers out. They have uh, like a fruit punch seltzers out. And now they have these tea seltzers. These are kind of the big ones right now. And then just your regular fruit flavored seltzers. But uh, I really enjoy these tea ones. I think they are my favorite seltzers that I've had. It, isn't seltzer just them adding carbonation to it? Seltzer is, yeah, is just a, a, a carbonated malt beverage or a beer. But it, but it doesn't have the, the beer taste in there. They just add a lot of fruit flavors normally. Um, the brewing process... As far as I know, it's really similar to how they make beer. Just, I don't think they put the hops in it. I don't think they put really what gives the beer the flavor. It's just carbonated 
Carbonations added, yeah. Okay. But uh, just a carbonated, almost like a malt beverage, really plain flavor until they add a bunch of the uh, the fruits in there. And those are all artificial flavoring? On here it says natural flavors. Oh, so these okay. ones are natural. It's a naturally flavored with other natural flavors is what it says here on the cans. So what are we drinking now? This one's the raspberry. Okay. Definitely smell the raspberry. Yeah. Arizona has a, a iced tea that's raspberry flavored and it smells really close to that. That's smooth. Yeah, it is. The, the peach and the raspberry have been spot on. Uh, again, I'm thinking of the Arizona iced teas. I used to drink those a lot, and those taste a lot like those. So you do get tea, and you get the fruit flavors, and the fruits are done really well. All right, we have uh, tangerine tea and apple tea, two really strange tea flavors. But uh, I'll let you pick which one you want to do. You, Let's you, do the tangerine. Tangerine, all right. This one sounds like it could be pretty good. But I don't think I've ever had in my life apple iced tea or tangerine iced tea. I know for a fact I've never had tangerine iced tea. This one's a lot lighter. The other two look like uh, pretty yellow beers. This one looks, I mean, it looks like a natural light, I guess. It's a very, mm -hmm. very light uh, color compared to the other ones. Which tangerine is a lighter flavor. So I guess the color makes sense. Somewhere right there to here. Ah, this one smells really good. Citrusy. Not getting that much of that tangerine, are you? I'm getting tangerine, not much tea. I don't know. It's definitely the lightest flavor of the bunch so far. No, I'm getting the tea. You are getting the tea. Okay, I'm the opposite here. I get, I do get the tangerine, but I mean, as a citrus flavor, it is a lot lighter. Uh, I don't know that it works well with tea, though. I don't know. I, I believe that's my least of the three so far. Yeah, not bad. Still really drinkable, I think. But uh, those other two flavors are a lot better. Mm -hmm. More bold. Definitely, the tangerine is, it's a really light flavor. All right, apple iced tea, let's try it out. Um, did you ever try the bush light apple? Yeah, I think I gave you a can of that. Yes. Did you yes. enjoy that? That's pretty much, um, that, that only comes out what, once a year? Well, the first time they, they released it was last year and it was out for a very limited time. And it came out towards the end of summer, right before fall came around. And it was really good. I hope they come out with it again this year. I mean, they had real good reviews on it. Yeah, no, it was super popular, sold out quick. I don't know if they just couldn't keep up with demand, if they just didn't have enough of that apple flavor, or if it's kind of like the McRib, where they only were gonna release it at a certain time to keep the, the buzz going. Whatever the, the case was, it was a really good beer, and I hope to see it again soon. Yeah, I remember you and Tony was trying to... Yeah, I really wanted it at the wedding um, yeah. that we had, and which was in the fall time. It was on Halloween, but by then, it was it was all gone. Um, let's try this last flavor here. Apple Bud Light Seltzer Iced Tea. Definitely taste the apple on that one. Yes. I like Angry Orchards. Those yeah. Those are good too. We used to drink those a lot, the Angry Orchard oh, yeah. uh, hard ciders. And you know what? That is, uh, I don't know that I've had an apple seltzer, and it does taste a lot similar to a, a apple cider. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I'm not getting a tea, though. No, I don't get tea really at all. Um, it's it's tart because of the apple. I don't know if that's why the tea doesn't come through because tea is a little tart as well. Um, 
Yeah, I'm getting nothing. I'm getting no uh, no tea there, but a good apple. It really does taste like an apple cider. Um, that would be a good fall drink, but I don't mm -hmm. know that it works well with yeah. the, the tea here. Okay, now that you've had them all, is this mm -hmm. something you could drink? Uh, I would probably pass. Do you still prefer the White Claws over these? Yes, I do. I do. Um, I think the the lemon tea White Claw and those other flavors, those are just really easy to drink, really good. Um, but these are not bad. I, I kind of like them. Um, as much as the White Claws, in my opinion, more so than the Trulies, I think. The Trulies aren't bad either, but I think these, at least these two flavors here, uh, there we go, these two flavors here were, were better done than they were in the Truly pack. And then these are odd. I don't know what you thought about them, but they're definitely odd. The mm -hmm. <laughs> odd ones out in this bunch. But Bud Light's been doing seltzers for a while. Though. Yeah, Bud Light's had their own seltzers. They've, like I said, had the, the lemonade seltzers. They they were the ones that did. They did a peppermint seltzer. They did a they did an apple crisp, which does taste similar to that. Now that I think about it, um, they they've had some weird flavors. They did a uh, a ginger flavored one as well. They've uh, they've done a lot of of seltzers. This is their first tea seltzers but uh of all the bud light seltzers i've had i, I really enjoy this one uh, a lot which one the the four pack this four pack here the bud light tea uh their lemonades are also really good but as far as price what are they these were about 15.99 i found these at jungle gyms in cincinnati i have i've had a hard time finding them and i finally did when we went and I don't, you've been to jungle gym it's, it's pretty cool they have uh, everything you can really think all of. All different countries, right? Yeah, and uh, yeah. international foods. And then they have a great beer and wine selection too. A ton of stuff you can't find. And I picked up another thing there that'll be coming in another video, but wanted to feature this one first. Bud Light Seltzer Iced Tea, the variety pack. So you don't think you'd ever get it again? Fifteen ninety nine was the price. I'm not. A bit, I'm not that big of a drinker. No, um, you're not. But. What am I always hounding you about when I see you when we have a get together or something like that? If I brought beer? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And especially <laughs> the White Claw. Yeah. We just had a gathering uh, this weekend. Over oh. this past weekend. Yeah. And you got mad at me because I asked you. No, I didn't get mad at you. I, I was uh, sad because I only brought one of the White Claws and I started drinking it. And that's all I had. I had just had the one left. I wasn't able to bring you one. But now I brought you four of these tea seltzers. And you didn't like them as much as the White Claw, so I gotta find you to something that you'll like as much as the White Claw now. Well, let's, uh, let's rank the flavors real quick. We've got raspberry, peach, apple, tangerine. If you wanna switch them around, one through four, of how you liked them. Raspberry. Okay. Apple. Peach. And tangerine. Starting here, one. Yep. You like the raspberry yep. the most? Yep. All right. Um, those are uh, interesting rankings. Not at all how I would rank them, uh, but that is my dad's official rankings. I like the peach the most, raspberry, tangerine, and then apple. Apple was too weird for me, but I do see how you like it. It tastes well, like an I, angry I, orchard. I, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have a little bit more of that. I like it a lot better than when Bud Light did the uh, the Apple Crisp. They did that last year, and that wasn't that good of a flavor. But uh, but this one was actually pretty good. Cheap beer for you to drink. I am JJ Dad. Thanks for coming on again. Um, Thanks for having. Me. Is there any other alcohol that you've seen that you would like to do a video on, or you want me to just keep letting you know when I see stuff? Just let me know. Okay. Cheap beer for you to drink. Thanks again, Dad. Thank you. Thanks for watching.